Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's see what we have here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do I want to use? Let's use this one. We get started with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do some oracle and get into the reading, okay? So, Scorpio, what I felt with for, bleh, <laughs> what I felt for you um kind of sucked i'm not gonna lie um it was kind of coming to this realization like like the clouds lifting from your eyes like you're, you're just kind of sitting there really thinking about everything really kind of just looking at reality for the first time okay really seeing somebody for who they are um, you didn't want to see this person for who they really are, because if you would have seen the truth about this person, um, it would hurt. It would it would hurt to realize that this person isn't who you think they are, right? Um, and on top of that, Scorpio, you would have to heal from that. You would have to mourn this person because the way they are, you can't accept that, right? You know what I'm saying? You can't accept that this person um, is like this. You can't accept that, you know, that they're, you know, that obviously they're doing something, Scorpio, which would uh, entail you not being able to be in a relationship with them and accepting that fact, accepting that it's not going to work. Um, would then lead to a lot of sorrow and disappointment. You'd have to mourn the relationship and it would be a lot of healing. And I, I guess you just didn't want to see that truth because then you'd have to accept that it's over, right? You know, so let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio, please. We've got meditate and contemplate. Your dreams need a practical plan. So Scorpio, there's that energy of soul searching, meditating, really thinking about something. And with your dreams need a practical plan, Scorpio, you may have envisioned a future with somebody, but is it practical? You know what I'm saying? Is this person really the right fit for what you're trying to do? And, you know, for the first time, Scorpio, I feel like you may be taking some time out to really sit down and ask yourself is this a mistake you know what I'm saying is this person really right for what I want to accomplish in my life um spirit tell me about Scorpio please sun moon rising and Venus tell me about Scorpio please sun moon rising and Venus tell me about Scorpio please sun moon rising and Venus tell me about Scorpio please yeah okay so I feel here, Scorpio, there was a situation with indecision and envy. I feel that there was a sense of, I don't want to let someone else win. Okay. Um, I don't want to let this person go and go be happy with someone else. I, I want to win here, even though I'm unhappy. Even though I'm unhappy, even though I value this person and I love this person, but they lie to me and they hurt me and this is a deceitful and dark relationship. You see what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't want anyone else to have this person, right? So even though I'm unhappy and even though, you know, all this other stuff, I don't want this person to go off with someone else. There's a sense of jealousy there or envy that someone else is going to have this person. But at the same time, you know, Scorpio, you're just not happy. You're not happy with this person. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio. So that's interesting. We've got joyous fun and we've got family um, under the deck professional assistance. So Scorpio, Okay, two things here. If you're dealing with a situation where you have children, you may be working with lawyers and all that other good stuff to have your children so you can go out and have a good time with them. Um, your family may be telling you that perhaps it's time to speak to somebody you know what i'm saying your family may want to see you happy and they may be telling you it's time to speak to somebody maybe to get a lawyer to end this or to go speak to a counselor because of what you've been through 
okay? Um, yeah, see the world card. Uh, something might be closing out here, Scorpio. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios. Please tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Okay. So we've got talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting, message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. We've got passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, and having fun. And then we've got mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Scorpio, you may have started talking to somebody. The sex may be great, you may be passionate, you may have a lot of fun with this person, but you're not showing what's really going on. And what's really going on is your mind is still with a past situation, okay? Um, your mind is with a past situation. And I feel here, Scorpio, that... Um, You might be finding out a secret here with lightning, Cupid's arrow, and stabbed in the back. You may be finding out that the person that's on your mind is actually in another relationship, seeing somebody or talking to somebody, okay? Um, so even though you have moved on where you might be sleeping with somebody or dating somebody, it's all about the lust, but your heart and your mind are somewhere else. You may be finding out that this person is actually also moving on and in another relationship. And it may bring you to the point of like, okay, well, I guess maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages. We've got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We've got heart to heart conversations and it's safe for you to love. So Scorpio, I feel like you put your self-respect for first here. You walked away from somebody that was mistreating you or someone that didn't respect you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly, discuss your feelings with one another, and it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So Scorpio, I feel like there's someone new. I feel like with talking and heart-to-heart, -heart, you guys have amazing communication. You feel safe with this person, okay? You've put in a lot of work with calling in your soulmate here. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together, but you need to keep an open mind. You need to keep an open mind here, Scorpio, because the soulmate that you're attracting, that beautiful, you know, vision that you had may not be with the person that you think it was going to be with, okay? In order to attract what you want, you may, you have to release something possibly here, Scorpio, okay? So you're going to get that future that you've been manifesting and praying for, but it may not be with who you think, you know what I'm saying? It may not be with the person that you think it's going to be with. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Seven of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. And we've got the Five of Swords under the deck. So Scorpio, I feel like someone here is being divinely guided to new love. The problem is, is that it's causing tremendous upheaval. I feel like it's causing a lot of pain, a lot of confusion. With the Five of Swords here, I feel like somebody, the divine, is actually pushing somebody to give up on a, on a situation, okay? Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios. Tell me about the Ace of Cups here. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I think the Five of Swords, yeah, the Five, not Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles was here. I feel like the wheel is slowly turning. Um so that you realize that it's, you know, to leave something out in the cold, that wheel is steadily turning, trying to pull someone away from a situation, get someone to analyze and see the truth about something um, so that something new can come in. Tell me about the seven of cups, the ace of pentacles in the reverse and the three of swords here. 
we've got the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy and the magician virgo gemini energy again the wheel of fortune and the magician scorpio you manifested something you wanted something to happen and this dream that you maybe have about coming back together with this person isn't going to take place this person's not going to take your apology they don't want to talk or vice versa scorpio this could be you not wanting to take someone's apology um you manifested something here you want something something stable something strong an equal counterpart okay and that's why this connection is being separated all right and i feel like you know that i feel like if you really took some time out to think and say you know what this connection wasn't good as much as i don't want this person to move on as much as i'm jealous of their new per like as much as i don't want to it's kind of like this energy of i don't want you but i don't want you to be with anyone else which scorpio i mean you know what i'm saying scorpios tend to be a little you know on the possessive and jealous side you know so it's it's that type of energy you know but i feel like you're manifesting something here scorpio and it would require for you to release in order to receive okay so let's see here clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios please clarity guidance love messages all right so we've got the world card we have the sun leo energy we've got the hermit virgo energy and we have the fool okay under the deck page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the six of swords and the four of cups so this person here it's over for this person this person has withdrawn themselves and with the sun and the full card they're happy and moving on with their life page of cups six of swords and the four of cups if someone moves in to apologize to this person they're going to be like nope i'm sorry thank you for calling i gotta go bye you know what i'm saying um ten of pentacles and the ace of swords this just wasn't the one scorpio it wasn't the one that you were meant to have forever with, okay? They just weren't the one. Um, with the Hierophant and the Nine of Swords, you would have been in a relationship with this person and there would have been constant anxiety, fear, headaches. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, it was a bad connection. So as much as you wanted this person to be the one, they just aren't, simply aren't the one, okay? Um, the World card and the Ten of Pentacles, tell me about the Hermit. The lover's card in the reverse. Yeah, this person has closed the door on any type of long-term stability here. Um, they don't, they've, they've withdrawn from the connection. The sun card and the four of pentacles and the fool card and the star. Yeah, this person has come to the realization that they don't want to give to the connection anymore. They're moving on to what they want. Okay, they're moving on to what they want. And I feel like someone here has sorrow. Someone here has a lot of sorrow, a lot of mourning. Um, um, you know, maybe because they lost someone that has money, you know, because Scorpio, it could be that this person has money and it kind of sucks watching them go off and live happily ever after financially stable. Um, that could be an issue or it's just that, you know, someone here is okay on their own, you know, someone's fine on their own, but they're just very sad, you know, very sad. <sighs> Clarity, guidance. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. Tell me about the challenge here for Scorpio. The challenge here for Scorpio. The challenge for Scorpio, okay. So we've got the Justice card, Libra energy, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy, yeah. Um, so the challenge here, Scorpio, is that someone's going to come in with an apology and try to make it right, but there's a secret. There's a secret, and I feel like the secret is that this person is dating someone else. Tell me about, or that they've moved on. Tell me about the outcome here for Scorpio. The outcome here for Scorpio. We've got uh, the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. We've got the Five of Pentacles, and we've got the Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, the, the thing here is, the outcome is that someone here is very confident in their decision that they do not want to work this out. Someone here is working on themselves, doing their own thing. The Emperor and the Seven of Swords, someone here has just slipped away and they're getting away with it. They're holding their ground. They don't want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be bothered. Um, 
I feel Scorpio that like maybe this person, um, you know, got the house or got the car or I don't know, they made out like a bandit at the end of this connection. And that's what kind of bothers you too, is that maybe someone else is driving your car or someone else is, you know, sleeping on your couch or sitting on your couch and watching a couch that you bought or do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like that energy where like, you know, like, like someone's going off with things that you bought or things that whatever, they're going off with your future. Um, but I don't see this coming back together. And not only that, I see something amazing coming in for you. You just don't see it yet. You just don't see it yet. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.